Good evening to my dear sisters and brothers and to my dear friends. A warm evening, blessings to all of you from your past reality. Blessings for the evening, equipped for victory. No weapon forced against you will prevail and you will refute every thong that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and this is their vindication from me, declared the Lord. Isaiah 54 verses 17 Speak this over yourself. I am loved, called, and chosen. I am rich in every way and generous on every occasion. I'm anointed appointed, equipped, and enabled by the power of God that works mightily within me. No weapon formed against me will prosper, and no enemy scheme against me will succeed. I live, breathe, and serve powerfully under the shelter of the Most High God. Amen. My dear ones, wherever we go through, it can even be just for a moment, that life on that moment can be a nightmare, or so distracted that, say, you think that it feels that this never is going to end. Listen in what you said to yourself. I live, breathe, and serve powerfully under the shelter of the Most High God. And that is our journey. I'm not saying these words very easy. They're not just words. The words are so meaningful to me and the impression what they mean because God is our shelter. In what kind of situation we also are. Suffering is a part of our life because we are earthlings. And if we don't face this, then we don't live in our own reality. Life can suck really do but in all that even if we are not aware and even if we don't understand so much of the mystery of God that is just fine my dear ones the only thing is to hold on to the warm embrace from your shepherd because sometimes there are no words to express in what ways you go through and you don't have to find words for him who says, I am he. I am the one that called you. I am the one who bring you through everything. I am the one, your shepherd, that leads you through green pastures. I am the one. I am he. And I will never abandon you. Sleep well, my beautiful people. This is your pastor, Yeti. Bye.